author, can we talk about the differences between reviewing and recommending someone's books? Yes. So as an author, you are not to be reviewing other people's books. That is discourteous inside of this industry. It is seen as something that is unprofessional and not good. You should not be reviewing books. The second you become a published author, you're done with that. You can recommend books that you like. So if you started off as a book reviewer, and I hope you did, that was a great way to kind of get into this industry. As a reviewer, your job is to help other people decide if a book is going to be the right fit for them. It's not about your opinions. No one cares about your opinions. They want to know if it's going to be a good fit for them. So you're giving things that are, if you're this type of person, you're going to like this book. And if you're not this type of person, you're not going to like this book. So you're going to be very clear. This type of book, whether you liked it or not, is going to be good for A, B, and C type people. And if you like E, um, no, D, E, and F, because I know my alphabet, if you like those things, those are not going to be represented in this book. It's probably not the best fit for you. So you're helping people to, without bias, figure out if it's going to be a book that they want to read or not. Leave your opinions out of it because unless they're your best friend, they don't actually care about what you have to say. Your goal is to help people make decisions for themselves. And when you can empower people to say yes or no to a book without you getting in their face about it, they're going to come to you again and again and again to get more recommendations to see what's going to work best for you. Now, recommendations as an author or as a person are things that you like. These are things that you want other people to know about. So as an author, you're totally in the clear to give book recommendations. These can be from your friends. It can be things that you read on your own. It can be things that you think your audience are going to like. You're going to say nice things about it because you thought good things about that book. You're going to bring up things that you like, but we're not talking down about books. We're not pointing out negative things or poorly done things because, again, that's unprofessional. So you want to make sure that as you're recommending things, it's only things that you think your audience should also read because you enjoyed it or because you have a connection to that. That person and you think they're a good person and you want to recommend them in some way. Reviews are only to help people decide if the book is going to be the right fit for them or not and that's from other readers and industry professionals but not authors. Recommendations can be from anybody and they're things that we like and we want our audience to know about so we're speaking about it in terms of I am backing this thing I think you should check it out. So those are kind of the differences between the two and you have to be mindful of how you're doing this because again the second you become a professional you have to stay professional inside of this industry. If you're not you're you're done. It's the book industry. They will they will take you right on out. So make sure that you are being respectful and responsible and doing things the right way as you are communicating inside of this company, inside of this industry, inside of this niche, inside of this genre, inside of the the whole book world. You want to make sure you're doing things the right way to build up the community and not tear them down. Now, that does not mean you can't have negative opinions on things. It just means you have to keep your mouth shut about it in a public capacity. And we're not posting reviews on Amazon or Goodreads or whatever, good or bad, as an author, because that is professionally unaccepted inside of this industry. And also book readers don't want to see that because that does not look good for you either way. Either way, we don't do those things. So always make sure that you keep this in a healthy perspective as you are saying things about any book that you read, whether you're a reader or an author, to help other people decide if it's going to be the fit for them or not. Uh, Haley says, in other words, it can create tension between you and other authors if you leave negative reviews. Um, oh, can it? That was a question. <laughs> Let me try that again. Haley says, in other words, can it create tension between you and other authors if you leave negative reviews? Yeah, it's highly unprofessional. That would be like um, other people in other industries critiquing and talking down about their coworkers. We don't do that here. We want to make sure that we are adjusting each other's crowns without drawing attention to it, right? That's the saying. We want to make sure we're adjusting other queens' crowns without letting people know that it slipped. If there's something that you really feel like let, let me help you when you're doing this with the right heart is with the servant heart and you know them and you have a connection to them and you know you can go to them go 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 to them have a conversation if there's something you really need to get handled but it's not your thing it is not for you to speak on it is not for you to have an opinion on publicly you should not be critiquing anybody else we're not going after anybody else and we're not also going after anybody else in a positive light so again we are not leaving reviews as authors there are platform rules about that, not industry rules, but platform rules. On Amazon, you're not allowed to leave reviews for other books, period. 
You can't do it on other platforms either just because it's professionally discourteous to people and it's against the terms of service. You can literally lose your account for doing it. So you should not be commenting publicly on anybody else's book unless you are saying, hey fans, I recommend this. It's by my friend or it's a cool book that I read. I think you should read it too. Other than that, you need to keep your lips zipped. It is incredibly unprofessional and it 100% will hurt your relationship, not just with that particular author, but with all authors who are now gonna be worried about you and running your mouth. And it's gonna make you look bad to readers too. So we always, always, always avoid this because it is not a healthy situation. We don't do that. Only good, positive, world building, uplifting, industry uplifting things. Otherwise, this is not something that is being done publicly. You can handle things privately, but we're not doing things publicly.